Connect Plus is the Highways Agency's main service provider for the whole M25 and responsible for delivering a number of large-scale, high-profile road improvement projects around the M25 as part of a 30-year private finance initiative contract. Connect Plus Services, its operational and maintenance delivery partner, is making the on-road changes at the Dartford Crossing to enable Dart Charge, including removing the old charging booths and barriers, reconfiguring the road layout and installing a new traffic safety system to protect the Dartford tunnels. The crossing was built uh, and designed to operate uh, with a capacity of 125,000 vehicles a day and routinely we see 140,000 going through. It was, uh, until quite recently, the worst performing piece of network on the whole of the uh, strategic road network in, the, in, in, in England. Um, and part of the reason for that problem was the fact that uh, we have a charge at the crossing and uh, we collected that charge by good old-fashioned cash with barriers and people having to queue to go through the barriers. Uh, free flow charging will see the removal of those barriers with uh, um, the charge being collected on the basis of automatic number plate recognition systems, very similar to London congestion charging. One of the, one of the most difficult issues in undertaking these roadworks, apart from the, the volume of traffic that we're coping with, is the fact that when you travel northbound through the crossing, you enter two tunnels. Um, and those tunnels have height restrictions, they have different height restrictions, so we have to put in place, uh, when we replace the barriers, means of detecting over-height and over-wide vehicles. Well, we, we had a unique requirement in terms of the knowledge uh, to be trained and assessed, and um, we believed that Larmer Brown had the tools and capability uh, to provide the support that we needed. Larmer Brown recommended a blended learning solution um, which was um, a process of e-learning, face-to-face um, -face training and uh, some on-the-job assessments as well. There were three main tools uh, that Larmer Brown recommended. Um, the first tool was the Claro tool, which is a content management tool. And uh, it's actually proved to be very effective, so uh, it enables us to edit the content as we go along. And so even when this uh, project is bedded down, we can go back and update the content. The second tool um, was UPK, the User Productivity Kit, and that acts as a repository for all e-learning and also an access point where learners can go in and take the e-learning. The third product is called Engage, and that's a process modelling tool. And uh, it was important for us to uh, identify the processes and from the processes develop the content uh, so Engage was really useful for us from that point of view. The audience that we have are kind of practically based people in a range of roles and um, we have to really appeal to a, a range of learning styles so we really wanted a blended learning approach to be taken. Um, the other thing is uh, people are working in a safety critical environment and we have to demonstrate compliance and through the e-learning, through the practical assessments and on-the-job uh, supervision, uh, we're able to be sure that all the people got up to a high standard of competency. So it's project as a whole, we've got about 127 people that needed training, but they all come from different backgrounds. So we've got the Tunnel Operations Centre that look after the tunnels, Network Operations Centre that looks after the rest of the network, our incident support units, which go out to incidents on the road, maintenance crews that respond to maintenance issues within the tunnels and on the bridge. And then we've also got temporary staff on the plazas that we use during construction phases to control the traffic. Our initial um, phase was what we called a Kent marshing area. That's where dangerous goods vehicles and abnormal loads come into the Dartford crossing to be escorted through the crossing. That used to be undertaken by the highways agency and it was handed over to Connect Plus. So as a pilot scheme, we ran the training initially to train our security staff in how to operate the Kent marshing area. So initial training session started back in October 2014. It started off with the KMA theory content, which was very much um, classroom delivered with the help of Lama Brown. We then moved on to other phases, which then became mixtures of e-learning and classroom delivery, again supported by Lama Brown. 
as we've moved through the construction phases and we've become competent ourselves in delivering the training, we've been able to take on a lot of the training delivery ourselves, but still under the guidance of Lama Brown as to get that best mix of classroom and e-learning. The results that we've seen are excellent. Um, the people that have taken the programme, we've found that uh, more than half of them got 100% first time and for the others we're able to go back, revise the content where they had some questions or issues around, get themselves up to speed and get up to the pass mark which was 100%. But we do foresee the need uh, to have refresher training for people, perhaps once a year. And as new people come in, we've obviously got this new system that people can take, take and get up to speed very quickly. 